honeycomb cassettes for the lifespan for a beehive is almost six to seven years. So once you do um, centrifuge harvesting, the frames inside usually become slightly weak. So now instead of throwing away the beehive with the bees, we have these honeycomb cassettes that we insert within the beehive and then you can continuously now harvest honeycomb, purely honeycomb um, products from the beehive. It's actually interesting because um, I followed my mom for training. My mom told me, let's go for a beekeeping training, Ministry of Agriculture, and she just wanted company. <laughs> so I went for the training for a week and I took up the business from then. So I stumbled upon it after high school. Yes. So it wasn't a planned um, business. I was just accompanying my mom. I saw an opportunity and we also had a problem with bees. Um, the home that my mom and my dad built at, in Kajiado was infested for 12 years. So they continuously removed the roof, poisoned the bees, um, and then put up the roof. And this was the, it was from 2004. So this brick, um, this brick um, roofing tiles that you have to remove one by one. So it was a tedious process every year they would come back, it's poisoned. So now my mom was like, let's go understand what these bees are doing in our roof. So we went and then we still have the bees actually in the house. We now live <laughs> together well and peaceful because now it's the highest point in the land um, and there's something called a bee root. So that is something we cannot actually um, destroy because it's a natural occurrence. So that is how I got into beekeeping. Um, after the training, I started with 10 beehives. So at, the, at that point, I wasn't an expert. So we just purchased beehives, we set them up, they got colonized. So colonization is just the bees coming into the hive. So they got colonized, we harvested once, then after that, um, we had problems. The beehive um, was not having colonization anymore. The bees absconded. Yani the walitoroka too. So um, we tried to figure out what the problem was and after some time we realized eh, there is a problem with the wood. So there is a specific wood that you have to use for the bees to remain because some particular woods attract insects and bees are very clean animals. So once the insect comes in, let's say termites um, or just um, spiders or the moth, the wax moth, so they actually leave the beehive and leave it to the insects. So after some time we had gotten acquired around 100 beehives at that point. So now we had to now change over and start producing our own hives from the discovery that we had. Most of the challenges are actually with the, with the beehive and the expertise. The arrangement, the installation of the beehive, um, if you put them facing together, the mouse to the mouse, they actually fight. <laughs> so they fight and one absconds. So you find moja and then you're wondering what is happening. So that we learned slowly and also the honey badger. We did not know that the honey badger would attack our beehives. So we just set them up, mahali kwa msitu, and we left. We harvested once and then after some time, it sends, it has a, a way of smelling the honey when it is ripe. So I mean, when the comb has been filled, the bees actually close up the honeycomb. So when it closes up, it is now ripe. It has the perfect moisture content. So it can smell and come in and now eat away a part of the beehive and enter. So now we had that challenge of the honey badger and we now installed some small corners around the honey, the beehive now that we have because it now heats and separates both the super box and the brood box and then now it puts its hand in and now actually destroys it and it's a very vicious animal it can it's the one in god must be crazy so it can run after you for a whole day so you have to rushia shuka and capture it it's quite um, capital intensive like any other agricultural um, activity because you have to have now the beehive 
then if you are in an area whereby you want to expand to over 100 beehives, then you would have to build now an apiary house. So to start is slightly more um, capital intensive, but currently we have a number of offers that are running for five beehives, eight beehives and 10 beehives that are discounted, that now we are allowing the farmers to take advantage for the period. So it is capital intensive to start at the beginning, but now you have a lifespan of six to seven years, whereby you can now recover your um, expenses and it is an activity that you do not have to plant, you do not have to feed the bees, you do not have to come in and check on them every single day. You just have to inspect monthly, ensure that the colony is healthy and now come in and harvest. Ideally within three months, harvest to harvest. If it is a fresh beehive, you give it one month colonization after it is installed properly and treated with bee attractants like beeswax is what we would recommend. Then now wait for that month, probably in a week or two weeks it should be colonized, then come in and inspect after a month. If you inspect too soon, they actually abscond. Yes, so that is the expertise that we bring to the table.